Hi everyone, this is Armageddon. Today I'm going to show you how to use Emerec TV. Now, what Emerec TV is, is software that allows you to show your game on screen, like, it'll be in a window. And some people honestly don't know how to use this. It is a confusing program to learn how to use, but I'm going to show you how to, you know, use it today. So, when you get the program, which I am going to have, like, a zip file of the program, this is what I use, it's the 3.1 version, something like that, 3.0, something like that. And it comes with all of the necessary things to run the program. Uh, some downloads don't actually come with all of this, so if you want to actually learn how to use it, then I would suggest watching this, because there's, it's not only the program, there's stuff like inside of this folder mainly that or you have to download other stuff but it's usually just this folder uh... that has every single thing that you need to show it on obs or xsplit or i can't think of another stri ff split so <laughs> let's just get started so when you start it up it says please choose video capture device input and format now this desktop capture mode is exclusive i think to the 3.0 version and beyond. So the desktop capture mode is basically, hey, press this button and it'll show your desktop. Yay! So that's fun, but you don't really need to do that. So you just click OK and it'll show you a list of all of the video capture devices that you have drivers for on your computer. Now I have a Dazzle DVC 100, so I'm going to click that. And I also have S video cables. Now, S video cables aren't the same cables as AV cables that work with, I don't know, an N64 or a GameCube or a Wii. So you would choose composite for that. And I will plug in my composite cable now, just so later I won't be confused. Now, you have the video all done. That's fun. Uh, but what about the audio? choose the same audio that you're using for your capture card which is Dazzle DVC 100 audio device click OK and it every single time you change options it always like loads for a second so now let's see my N64 is plugged in right yeah okay let's see what the game looks like running pretty fine. It doesn't look the best though. If you've ever played this on a TV, it really does not look good right now, so let's try and fix that. So what Amaret can do is deinterlace your game, which is really really nice because it makes it look a lot better instead of just hey, everything looks bad and tearing. So fun. Now, usually with older games, like retro games, you're going to want to select for retro games, like what the deinterlacing function will be for. You're going to want to select retro games for, uh, let me think of a list, NES, PS1, GameCube, SNES, and I think that should be it. Actually, no, not GameCube. GameCube, you're going to want to choose uh, HW deinterlacing by VGA. So everything that I said but GameCube. Uh, retro game. I can't really think of anything else of it. Pretty much any old system, just choose retro game. These I have actually never had any use for, so I just use retro game for GameCube and beyond I use this. Now the aspect ratio, you're actually really, if it's not an HD game, you're going to want to choose 4x3 and underscan because that's what it looks like. Now, Emerex auto select like it automatically selects top field or first field or top field bottom field first whatever um usually top field is the best thing that you want to choose so i would suggest getting that if you're using an n64 or gamecube all those other ones as i suggested uh so yeah that's something <laughs> Now, this live thing, this is where you're going to want to listen carefully, maybe. This live enable thing won't be here at first. It'll tell you, hey, you have to download this thing, or hey, install this thing. And usually it's in this folder that will be, it'll be the same folder. Now, it's all in Japanese that you're not supposed to be able to read, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here, type in Amarek TV. It's going to be the first thing that pops up, the first thing, their website. Uh, once you get to their website, though, you're going to want to click back to English top page, 
scroll down until you see AMV video codec and then you're gonna see all this stuff about the video codec and you're you're probably looking here and like I don't wanna buy this so you can just hit download and it will download it come on you can do it I promise you if I could click please and then you just run this setup now I already have it so I'm not really going to try installing it again so I'm just going to click live enabled and you're going to want it to hmm, put it at 60 FPS and put it to 640 by 480 alright that's all good now recording I don't really want to explain that in this video because recording actually took me a long, long time to figure out at first and to make it look good. So later in the future I might make a tutorial on recording if you really want me to. Alright, well we have all this finished, now I just want to take a quick look at general. Uh, now general has many things that you can change. Uh, with the recording, you can change the file like the output folder to where it outputs the file that you recorded or took a screenshot to and then it has it has different settings like when you're selecting this window you can scroll up and down to change the aspect ratio I really don't like that honestly you can't you can turn all of these off to just not used that's what I do I really don't like using the wheel up and down to change that so uh, but using right click and then changing it with the mouse wheel to change volume is pretty nice. Alright, so we can hit OK. Let's see how the game looks now. Again, it takes a bit to load, so. Now, a quick tip while I'm doing all this is if you hit enter while using, while you're like selected on the window, then it'll just focus it. It'll make the window the same as your live, which we set to 640 by 480. So let's turn on that 64. This is again with composite cables, not my S video cable. So let's see how it looks. Much better, right? The crap isn't around the numbers, which I absolutely hate. And that's pretty much Emmerich TV. If you need any more help with this, just leave a comment. I'll probably respond. Um, if you do have S video cables, though, and you have a capture card that supports S video, then totally choose S video, and it will look years better. Like, that looks so much better. Anyway. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.